McDougall Robertson was born in Edinburgh in 1924. He was the youngest of eight children. He joined the British Merchant Navy after attending Leith Nautical College. He left maritime life after the attack on the SS Seguin at Trincomalee in 1942, during which his wife Jessie and his son Duncan were killed. Robertson remarried and began work as a dairy farmer. On the 27th of January 1971, Robertson departed from Falmouth, Cornwall, on board the Luquette, a 43-foot wooden ship built in 1922 which the family had purchased in Malta with their life savings. He was accompanied by his wife Lynn, daughter Anne, son Douglas, and twin sons Neil and Sandy. Over the next year and a half, they sailed across the Atlantic, stopping at various ports of call in the Caribbean. Anne retired from the voyage in the Bahamas. During their transit of the Panama Canal, the family members took aboard an inexperienced crew member named Robin Williams, who accompanied them on the next stage of their voyage to the Galapagos Islands, and beyond to the islands of the South Pacific. On the 15th of June 1972, Luquette was holed by a pod of killer whales, and sank approximately 200 miles west of the Galapagos Islands. The group of six people on board escaped to an inflatable life raft and a solid hull dinghy, with little tools or provisions. Using the dinghy as a towboat powered by a jury rigged sail, the group made its way towards the doldrums, hoping to find rain there so they could collect drinking water. They did so successfully, while catching turtles and fish to eat. The inflatable raft became unusable after 16 days, so the six people crowded into the three meter long dinghy with their supplies. They then continued to use the wind and the current to their advantage, moving to the northeast towards Central America. By their 38th day as castaways, they had stored dried meat and fresh water in such quantities that they intended to begin rowing that night to speed their progress. However, they were sighted and picked up that day by a Japanese fishing trawler, who was on her way to the Panama Canal. Robertson, who had been keeping a journal in case they were rescued, recounted the ordeal in the 1973 book, Survive the Savage Sea. Dougal later wrote, Sea Survival, a manual, and continued to sail until his death from cancer in 1991. The manual was used to help save the life of Stephen Callahan, who was stranded for 76 days in the Atlantic Ocean in 1981.